college's story over the past 20 years is one of um, growth and adaptation that communications and media in particular have just expanded in ways that I don't think we could see even 20 years ago. Well, the College of Communications is, uh, it's, it, it's obviously grown in, in size, hugely so, uh, but probably more important in, um, in, in uh, quality and its comprehensive nature. I think that the programs that we've put in in the last 20 years have been amazing. You think of Com Radio as an example. Um, other kinds of programs, live TV programs. In the early years of the college, uh, all the laboratories, uh, television, uh, film, and so on, were in the basement of Carnegie Building in, uh, in broom closets. And, um, and now we have this beautiful new facility out at Innovation, Innovation Park. I mean, it, that, that is a, um, a pretty obvious uh, indication of the, the quality and the growth of the college in that, in that period of time. Just the wingspan of the College of Communications has expanded tremendously over the last 20 years from, from a really good first-rate uh, regional national professional school to, to a College of Communications that does research and education uh, in, in professional, in academic and scholarly ways that uh, nobody else in the country can, uh, you know, can beat. Uh, I think we built the best balanced in terms of academic orientation and professional credentials, the best balanced faculty of any nationally accredited program in our field in the country. I think that it was very important that our students became big time players on the national stage in various contests spread all of across of our disciplines and that certainly helped put us on the map. I think we as a college have been embracing both the professional side and the academic research side. Uh, I also think that we are way more self-aware of what the students need uh, as far as the multimedia background and we're proactive as far as trying to get them ready for jobs out in the real world. I would say that students have, have been the consistent element in all of it. it. Whether it was 1999, 2005, or 2015, our students have been fantastic. Uh, they're smart, articulate, well-rounded. They've taken advantage of the opportunities that are available to them, not only on campus, but outside of the, of the classroom. They're serious, they're thoughtful, they interact in class, they, they do their work, they just care about what's going on on campus and in the community and the world. They challenge you, they want to know what's going on in journalism. They want to know even other academic areas. You know, it's lifelong learning. I believe a journalism student, a communication student, coming out of here probably has a better total package than if they went to Harvard. It's the students and the faculty, a great tapestry of strengths and of passion and of caring and of interest. What is truly special about the College of Communications at Penn State is its people. We, the faculty, I think have a terrific relationship with the students and the students have a great relationship with one another. There's a family feel here. We are such a tight-knit family and if you come here, you will be welcome. You can make this into whatever you want it to be. There are a lot of things about the future that I can't tell you. I can't tell you what kind of technology we're going to have. I can't tell you exactly what I envision the classrooms looking like in five to ten years. But this is what I know. I know the college will, as it always has been, it will be on the forefront of teaching, it will be on the forefront of using new technologies, it will be on the forefront of leading our students into the new and exciting careers that, you know what, we might not even be able to dream about what those careers are right now, but we'll be ready.